Hey guys, it's Mrs. Dixon again. We're moving into lesson 13 to polygons and angles. So we have to learn these vocabulary words here. A polygon is a closed plane shape that has straight edges. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. It's really not though. A plane shape, I can describe a plane shape by how they look. The word plane, P-L-A-N-E, is spelled kind of like the airplane not P-L-A-I-N, which means ordinary and boring, but this shape is actually a little bit ordinary and a little bit boring because it's two-dimensional or it's flat and I cannot pick it up. I can't hold it in my hand. So a polygon, again, is a two-dimensional or a plane shape that has at least three sides or three angles and every side has to be straight. So we're only using straight edges on these. Let's look at our vocabulary. So a polygon, we just said, is a closed plane shape with three or more sides, and it is a polygon. So we can see these shapes here. We call these shapes closed because if we were to put something inside of this shape, it could not get out. Let's look at a non-example. Look at this. If I were to put, let's say, a mouse inside of this box here, what would it do? That mouse wouldn't stay inside this box. He'd come out of this giant opening right here. That means this shape is not a polygon because it has an opening. A polygon is a closed shape. So if we were to put a mouse inside of this hexagon, could the mouse get out? No, he couldn't cross over these tall walls. So this is a closed shape. Now we talked earlier this week about vertices. Those are the corners or the points where two sides or edges come together. Now we were just talking about the fact that shapes have vertices, but these vertices actually have a value and we measure this value and call it an angle. We have three different types of angles. I'm gonna jump over here really quick. We have what's called a right angle. A right angle measures out at 90 degrees. That's not like the temperature. This is a different kind of measurement. 90 degree angles make a perfectly squared edge. Now we can see these angles here are not 90 degrees. This angle is much bigger. This angle is called obtuse. Obtuse. I always think of a tuba when I hear the word obtuse because it sounds really big and giant and it's one of the biggest instruments. So obtuse angles are really, really big. And then we have this little, little, little teeny, teeny, tiny angle right here. And it is called acute. It sounds like a sneeze, acute. So we have acute angles, which are super, super teeny, tiny. Obtuse angles, which are really, really big. And then we have our 90 degree angle which makes a perfectly squared edge. Okay, let's move into our work here. I gave you a lot more information than what we're gonna need for this lesson, but it's stuff you'll use in future lessons. All we're gonna do today is look at these shapes and identify the names of these shapes. But we have to remember, these are polygons. They're polygons because they have straight sides or straight edges. They have at least three sides and they are all closed shapes. If I were to put a mouse inside, he could not escape. It'd be just like a cage. All right, let's look at this first shape. It has one, two, three, four, five vertices. I can measure the value of these vertices or how large these are, and I would call this angles. So this shape actually has five angles. So what is the name of a shape that has five edges and five angles or five vertices. It is called a pentagon. All right, let's look at the next shape. This shape has one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's, it has five edges. I bet it also has five angles. One, two, three, four, five. It does. It has five angles also. Huh. It's also called a pentagon. Hmm. Let's look at this next shape. 
one, two, three, four, five, six angles. And it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six edges also. If it has six angles and six edges, what shape is this? Hmm. This is called a hexagon. Then we move on to one of our easier shapes. This has one, two, three angles. Remember, these are also called vertices. We can measure the vertice and give the measurement of the angle. This is a 90 degree angle. And what do you think? Are these those giant obtuse angles? Or are these these teeny, teeny, tiny, acute angles? Hmm. If it does not make a perfect square, if it's smaller than a squared edge, then these are going to be acute angles. Again, we're not going to use that information right now, but what's the harm in learning something? This is going to have three angles, so this shape is called a triangle. All right, guys, your task today, you're going to complete page 567 and 568 in your textbook. All you have to do is count the number of angles, and if you've noticed something, the number of angles has always matched the number of edges, only in a closed shape or in a polygon, because if we have an open shape, we're not going to have enough connections everywhere. So our angles or our vertices and our edges are not going to be equal in the value or the equal in the number of them. But because we are looking at polygons here, all I have to do is count my angles or my edges and they're going to have the same number. One, two, three, four, five, angles or one, two, three, four, five edges. So let's review that. A shape that has five edges or five angles and it's a closed polygon. Hmm. Shape with five sides. It's going to be called a pentagon. What is the name of a shape that has four sides? I'm looking at that one right there. That's not a square. We learned that fancy word earlier this week. Any shape that has four sides and four angles fits into a special category. So think about the name of that shape when you get there. I hope you can come up with a category. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's another one of them. Hmm. You have to think, what was the name of that funky four-sided shape? All right. So again, a shape with five sides, pentagon. Four sides, you need to figure it out. Six sides is a hexagon. And then you will move on into page 568. All right, guys, good luck.